Hello everybody, my name is Ruben Kings and welcome to my Minecraft uh, town tour video. Um, literally a few people asked me if I would do some Minecraft videos onto my channel and you know I was hesitant about it for a while but I think it's finally time that um, I finally show you guys my Minecraft stuff. Um, I really don't play Minecraft too much honestly. Um, it's not my kind of game even though this looks like I've done uh, a lot with it but this is stuff that's I've had for over the years uh, from the bedrock version because um, I used to play on, on this with friends and we have messed around a lot as you can tell we've been in creative we've been in survival I mean this originally was a survival world but we've been in creative and we've uh, pretty much done what we can with this world honestly it's just really it's pretty much just like a lost cause but anyways we have this world just so we can see you know the kind of history we have as like when i used to play with this with friends because um we don't get on this world anymore but um or honestly we don't even play that much anymore but i just want to show you um the world that i pretty much created in 2016 so let's get started this is my house um this is a house I created, personally. Well, I actually made this in survival, believe it or not. Uh, but I did add some touch-ups after we went creative, such as like the lamps, the little s the, the smoke coming out. Those are campfires in the ceiling. And here's my little wheat farm. Uh, we haven't really found much vegetables here other than like potatoes. <laughs> I don't think we ever found carrots, but if we did, I think we know and here's our moral town map so this is a map of our town pretty interesting here's our moral town and just like a special guest house we do have villages here which we actually spawn in creative so yeah these weren't natural but um <laughs> it's still a little fun to have i pretty much gave this town to the villagers anyway since we're never on this anymore so they get to live here peacefully and not have to worry about us here's a friend's house this was his house. He only played like a very little bit and that creeped me out for a second. That plant looked like an alien. But yeah, let's see what he had here. Empty chest. Had a bunch of Doriites. Some ender pearls. Okay. Not much. Probably had like an ender chest full of stuff. That's fine. Pretty cool. Um, let's see there. Oh, there's another house right here. Okay. This might might have been his house, I think. I think that was just a shed. This definitely looks like someone was living here for a while. There's coal in here. Definitely, yep, there was someone here. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. There's my skin. If you guys know what it is, it's on there for a split second. Um, and then right here is a house I created in creative. It's like a little... Um, this is meant to be like a giant house where everyone can share their stuff not really quote-unquote um this this house was meant to be something i don't know but up here we still have potatoes that have been chilling here for the last six months i have not touched this world since january although wait a minute potatoes there's no potatoes in here <laughs> okay i don't know where the potatoes came from here is an amazing house one of my friends did uh, who is a lot more creative than we are. He made all of this in creative uh, because, you know, he randomly got on and he wanted to get on creative and he, he had an idea to build a house with, like, a little pond and a waterfall on it. So this this is really cool. I, lo I love to see this. So I'd like to give a little tour inside just because we're here. Um, but, yeah, he has, like, a little cookie dispenser. He has a balcony with a campfire. Oopsie, so it was already open. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, this is like a little canopy area or whatever you like to call it. Pretty nice. And some tables, some books. You go on top of here. And there's another balcony area. We can look out into the wilderness that we were eventually going to expand upon. We were going to make this town bigger, but we never got to it. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those worlds. <laughs> And here he made a little aquarium where, I mean, there's no fish in here anymore, but I remember at one point there was fish in here. I think what happened was that um, we accidentally did a command to kill all mobs and that would ha that's what happened to the fish. Um, 
But yeah, self explanatory. This house is pretty cool. I think this is my favorite house in the entire world so far. Um, and here are our wheat farms or vegetable farms. Um, okay, a lot of this was done in survival, but most of it ended up just being fixed and creative. Um, mainly the wheat farms were for sure in survival, but the carrot and potato stuff was probably added post. So here's a house I made. I don't know why. I don't know why I made this, but. I made this house with a lot of empty chests because, yeah, this was definitely creative. Um, I don't know, we just wanted to build a house, see what it would look like. And this looks like a house you could probably, like, chill in or sleep in. But, yeah, it's one of those um, creative houses. It's not the best looking. I'm not exactly a creative person when it comes to Minecraft. I can never build a proper house. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the houses I've made. So if you like the design, please let me know. That way I can feel better about myself. Here we have a little um, barbecue area or campfire area, which is pretty cool. And over here, we have what we were going to expand upon. But here are some other houses that other friends have made. Um, these guys pretty much lived here for a while. And I think we just added some stuff in creative. Uh, oops. Yeah, we added the chest in creative. We gave them a house. Um, and then, yeah, that was pretty much about it. These houses weren't really finished. <laughs> uh, we only had them, like, join in, and then they never get, we got back on. That's how, we, how that's how disconnected we are from Minecraft. We really don't play that much, honestly. Well, I don't play that much, but a lot of us, a lot of us here. Oh. And then this house right here in particular had a campfire site, a campsite, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so if we keep going this way, you'll find yourself leaving Moros Town, or Moroville. I actually don't remember the name, even though we just looked at it. But you'll find yourself running across a lengthy bridge. So if you go over here, there's an actually another area where another friend lived. Um, they had their own little ice kingdom as you like to say so we go down here there's a big bridge over here very cool I like this this bridge is very lengthy and we built the, the two towns to connect so over here we have a town we have Brian's house which we patched up which you can actually go inside all right, so by further inspection, uh, yeah, I realized I don't want to show you guys what's in here because there's a lot of inappropriate stuff not meant for YouTube. So, yes, Brian's house is uh, there. Uh, but here we go. We have another house, or in instance, the entrance to the kingdom of Layla and Zayn's Fortress of Solitude. So I believe majority of this was done in survival. I mean... Why, why would you use orange? I know for sure. Yep. But, I mean, obviously it's an ice castle. Yeah, you would... I mean, well, maybe. I don't know. This definitely does look like a survival thing. Let me know. Zany Poo's cozy, wozy bed. Sleepy time. Like this death bed. Okay. They have this little chilling area. Pretty cool. And here is something that Layla made, which was a chapel of some sorts. Or a courtroom, I think. This, this is a courtroom. You can... We pretty much held court sessions. Not really, but it's cool. And that's about it, really, for this house. This chapel. It's really interesting. I like to... I love to see this. God, here you have her little farm. Here is some little flagpoles. Pretty cool. And here, oh my goodness, here's a throwback story. So, here we have Snowball the Polar Bear. So at one point, this is a story about Snowball. So Snowball was a little polar bear, well not a little polar bear, but just a polar bear in general that spawned in this area. And at one point we just decided to give it a nickname, we gave it a name tag, and we called it Snowball. Now Snowball randomly decided to attack our friend Zane one day. And yeah, we, we, we had to put Snowball down, <laughs> pretty much. So we made this little memorial stone for Snowball, so rest in peace, Snowball. I was dreaming of the past. 
I actually missed a bunch of stuff um, I didn't show you guys. So, uh, pretty much, I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and I made this back in 2017, uh, before the show went to shit. But, um, yeah, definitely, I made a TARDIS, a working TARDIS, actually, where if you go inside, you get teleported into a control room, which is pretty cool. Um, I made all of this in creative. There's no way you can ever do this in survival unless you're super patient. But, uh, yeah, we used to have some animals here, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, we accidentally killed them. But, yeah, we had a TARDIS control room, which is pretty cool. Here we have a blacksmith room, essentially for villagers. We made this specifically for the villagers, for them to just mess around with, see what they do. Um, I believe some of these have names, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, they don't. This one doesn't, but some of them do have names, I believe. Okay, some of them don't. <laughs> There's a floating island over there, uh, which was somewhat inspired by gorillas. Um, basically, this lighthouse and this island, they were inspired by gorillas. You guys remember uh, the Feel Good Ink video? For those who don't know who gorillas are, I recommend searching up Feel Good Ink. Look up the video. And there's a whole story around that. It's pretty cool. So we have seen the rest of Morosville or Moros Town, but we haven't actually seen the beach area here. So I have no idea exactly where to go start. So okay, I guess we'll start with the beach, like I just said. But first, before we go in to the beach, we have a little cemetery. Oh, okay. So yes, we do have some um, some villagers that actually passed away. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, I know I know Giorgio was a, definitely a villager that had accidentally gone into the nether with me and burned to death, which we made a tombstone for him. And all of these, I believe, some of these are just random names made up just to give the town some lore. Uh, but that's there. So pretty cool. We made like a little cemetery there. Uh, we go down here. We have Chicken Joe's Fish Shack, which is a friend of mine. We made a little fish shack, the Surf and Turf sale hey buddy you got some chicken you got some chicken joe up next we have our little the mortal town gold mines do not mind the ore okay so we just made this for decoration it just it's just meant to look like a mine shaft that leads outside of town which is pretty interesting um just some nuggets right there so man i'm just chilling Pretty, pretty nice area here. I don't remember too much about making that, but I, I think I was the one who made it. I think. And up over here, we have a, an, a house from a friend of ours as well. He actually lived all the way out here and actually did. He actually made this house in survival. Believe it or not, this is probably the only 100% authentic survival house in this entire world. Um, yeah, definitely. This was something he made in survival. Um, incredible house. One of our friends just would always get on just to work on his house. And I think it was pretty interesting. But, you know, now that this world's kind of abandoned, um, we really don't have a need for it anymore. And I guess he can never close these doors. I don't know why that doesn't close. But, yeah, we have this area. This is a beach area. This entire area was man-made. Um, I believe if you dig under here yeah you can see that there's a uh, an entire <laughs> dark area here uh, this used to be water I believe so um, yes there you go there's your minecraft placements video <laughs> but yeah this in this entire area was water we wanted to have a beach area but it didn't look that good so um, we just kind of let that happen we have Buster's boat shop Boats for rent. Oak boats, $20. And we have a little villager here who would give you boats and stuff. Not really. You can just pick them out. But, and yeah, here are some little areas. Some little beach huts, I guess. And here's the beach. That's it. <laughs> and as for here, we have some little, you know, glass areas for our mines. There weren't really that much. Um, but I believe that's about it for this town tour video. I mean... This town is abandoned. It's nice to see, you know, what this once was. You know, unfortunately, I don't think we're ever going to revisit this again. But it's nice to show you guys something from Minecraft because I was asked to do some Minecraft videos for a while. And I guess you all get one. <laughs> and yes, this is definitely a man-made portal made in creative 
obviously. Uh, but we did play we did play the end in survival. We just moved it over here. Um, and there's our nether portal, which we don't activate at all because we don't want villagers going inside. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness. And I'll see you again in another one. Have a good one. Peace. Okay, so here's a melon farm. Um, melons.